Alexis uh, Yorgoulis uh, for the left. Firstly, allow me, by my own experience as an actor, to urge you to focus on the precarious labor conditions of artists. We need to tackle the non-standard nature of their working conditions, financial instability, and limited access to social security benefits. Artists should have the same social security safety nets as all European citizens have. After all, especially for artists in the performing arts, their only professional equipment is their own physical body. Meaning that if an actor, a musician or a dancer gets uh, injured, it's not possible to work at all, neither to achieve high levels of performance ever again. Therefore, there should be a special health insurance policy for the specific features of artists. Also, rehearsals should be included as regular working time for all relevant social and uh, financial benefits in all member states. At the same time, COVID-19 accelerated pre-existing trends and inequities, uh, highlighting the urgency to tackle the situation at a European level. Therefore, we need a European framework for working conditions in cultural and creative sectors. A solid first step in order to provide a multidimensional, holistic and coherent policy instrument is to work together and create a new resolution aiming at strengthening the sustainability of cultural and creative sectors in this new era. It is worth mentioning that the previous relevant resolution of the European Parliament dates back to 2007 that needs to be updated according to today's needs. After all, the previous resolution does not refer to freedom of association or collective uh, bargaining uh, grants or uh, subsidies, neither to gender equality. And, and this uh, leads us to the next issue that uh, urges us to further action. We need to discuss and act against harassment, racism and exclusion. Artists and workers in the cultural creative sectors during their education or professional life are often faced with such threats that risk their health, physically and psychologically. After the broad publicity and participation in the Me Too movement, we can see the link between power relations and physical or emotional abuse, sometimes even aiming at artistic perfectionism, competition and spectacle. So gender equality, harassment, racism and exclusion uh, should be further examined in this study and in all our actions about the labour conditions of artists, including education and training. To sum up, I ask you to work together in order to establish a European framework for labour conditions in the cultural and creative sectors, safeguarding for artists, minimum income standards, social security benefits and harassment-free safety at work and education. Thank you, Thank you very much.